Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome, my name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update. It's gonna be something fairly different from my Pan That Palette for 2020, the Blood Sugar Palette. If you missed my last update, along with, I'll throw the whole playlist up in the cards if you guys want to check my progress until now, but basically in my last video I talked about how I hit a rut and I wanted to take a break from the palette. So long story short, I did that, and I came to a few conclusions. And I really want to do something different with the palette. So before we get into all of that, let's go ahead and run the slideshow of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. So not too much difference. I was really hoping to hit pan in this shade. It's like almost there. Like I can see it. <laughs> 
but uh, no much like really further pan. I did repress this shade and this shade because they had such big pan, like the, the shades are falling apart. So I did repress both of those. We're gonna see how those dry and work out. But I really wanted to keep it like this for now because in this video, I actually wanna show you guys the blush that I made from a few of these shades, particularly these three. And I wanna make more. So I am glad that I took my break because um, it was really good to get away, just get some like fresh ideas about this. And it really made me realize why I was struggling so much to begin with at this point anyway. And it's because I had two rows. I repressed two of them so they're not there anymore. But I had two rows of just nice pretty pan across the board. And I wanted to have that. Like I wanted the end goal to be just like pan in every shade pretty and then I get to color the palette. Um, I realize that's stupid. Because the goal wasn't just to hit pan, but like to use the palette, to get the use out of it, and then get it out of my collection at the end of the year. So, um, I was really hoping to hit pan in here before I started, but you know what, screw it, we're going to do it anyway. So, like I mentioned before, the first thing I did is I already made a blush, because I wanted to test out the process to see whether or not it'd be worth it at all to make some Franken blushes. So I mixed these three shades together, so the two bright reds here, and then like this lighter peach shade, I mixed to create this Franken blush. So here's just to zoom in on the Franken blush. Very, very pigmented. So I made this Franken blush and it turned out really nice and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. I did film this process. I'm just gonna show you a quick, I'll probably speed it up, process of how I made this Franken blush. went really well as you can see and I just used these three shades and I got a really nice blush out of it. I rightfully so was called out on a past uh, BWOW where I was salivating over a blush um, book blush palette essentially and it basically the blushes were just the shades that I have here in this palette. So my goal for today, so let's talk about it first. First I want to make a couple of other blushes. Mainly I want to mix these and get like a pinky kind of blush. I want to mix these and get a purpley kind of blush and then maybe one more we'll see i'm just gonna mix some things up and see what happens and this one when i make this blush i want to take half the shade out for the blush and then the other half of the shade i want to mix with a matte black i'm thinking the matte black from this abh um Alyssa edwards palette the matte black here i want to mix it and create something i can use in my brows because that's something i need to use need to reach for every day and i think by mixing the darkest shade in this palette with the black i'll get something usable and it doesn't have to look perfect because I just got word that I'm going to be working from home until December. So <laughs> why not put purple black in my brows, right? Right. So that is kind of the current goal. I may or may not repress these two shimmers. I kind of want to just because it might be easier to actually use them up. Because that'd be great if I could actually use up a few more shades in this palette. Uh, so that's the main goal for today. Um, I will be using just... Um, 91% alcohol and I'm not going to try to be too loud these palettes that I got off of Amazon. I, got, I bought like a pack of 25 because that's the only thing I could find. And then these nice big just like magnetic empty square pans. And I was thinking of repressing this into one of the square pans but I'm going to leave that as it is for now and just the three new blushes that I'm going to make will be in these square pans and I'll find a bigger palette to put my little blush palette into. I don't know if these are still available. I had to look on Amazon for a bit to find some decent sized ones because I wasn't looking. There's a bunch of eyeshadow ones on Amazon. It took me a while to find these bigger like face palette kind of 
shaped ones. So if they're still available, I'll have them linked down below, but I did just find them on Amazon and just took me a little bit to look around. So I am going to get changed so I don't make a mess. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try and do an overhead setup so we can walk through the whole process of tearing this palette up. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this is a day later after everything fully dried and I ran into some issues. So let's talk about those. First with the palette. So I did use up quite a lot of these shades and the blushes. We'll go over the blushes next. So I took the last of this darker shade and mixed it with the ABH black and it didn't... It's like okay. These really don't repress well for like shadows, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I did repress the shimmer over here and that turned out just fine. I used it on my eyes this morning. It seems to work just as well as it did before I repressed it. I almost repressed this one, but I don't think there's much left of it. I think I just finished that up. And I think that's really it for here. I also, so this one was repressed. I ended up using a lot of this in the lightest shade of the blush. We'll go over. And then this one, I'm really gonna use this in my brows, so I really don't care if it's like that kind of cracked or it doesn't really like blend as well. Um, so yeah, I also made a mess. This part of the palette came up, but 
<laughs> we're making some progress. Now for the blushes. So <laughs> you'll see this in the swatches, which I did on my hand right over here. But I realized as I was repressing these that the purple, the dark purple, I did not have enough like actual powder in here and I spread it out too thin in the actual pan. If anything, the purple should be in the smaller pan because there wasn't as much of it, which I might do. I might take this out and repress it in one of the bigger pans and then repress the purple in the smaller pan because there really isn't a lot of this purple pigment left. Though if I go back into the palette, I could just take the remainder of the purple shade and mix it in, which I might do if I can't get this to repress nicely. So it did just shatter. So this did shatter when I went like kind of rough to go swatch it, but it does, it swatched really pretty. <laughs> so I want to see if I can make that work. Honestly, I really like the shade range that I was able to get in the blushes. This is exactly what I wanted to get out of the blush palette. It looks a lot similar to the blush palette that I really wanted. So I don't need to buy that anymore, obviously. Um, so these two and this, like basically these three blushes turned out awesome. I cannot wait to test them more and get more use out of them. But this one, because of the way that it just shattered, I just, I don't think I did enough powder. It was just too thin and when I went in I just kind of cracked it. But they look really pretty and since I've already used this one on my face quite a lot and I know that it works really well, I'm really excited to get use out of the rest of these. So by the time the next update comes out I'll probably have moved this one to a different pan and pressed this one into a smaller pan. <laughs> Alright, and right as I said that this one uh, shattered, this one also shattered. Like these, these shades don't really repress a hundred percent like fantastic it's really hit or miss like these repressed really well this one did not um so i'm just gonna repress that again and we'll get it working because i do want to use this up so this is what we're working with right now these are let's turn it this way these are the blushes that i made in my new little blush palette and this is what we have left in the actual palette thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what's going on in your pan that palette and i cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.